The whole trip has been interesting because I don't understand a word of Creole. And so when you go into church, you know that they're obviously worshiping God. But there was a lot more movement <laughs> than I'm used to in church. I have been frustrated the whole trip because I don't speak Creole, but I can tell you the next time I come back, I will be able to, because I don't like to just be able to say uh, hello and goodbye and how are you and my name is. I would like to know what they're saying and what they're singing, although it's kind of fun to be able to catch on to tunes and know what they're singing and then to uh, join in in English, but it would be nice What's really neat is that we're coming from a country that is miles and miles and miles away, and you walk into a place where all of us are wanting to worship the same Lord. And it's just really neat to be able to look at people and know these are um, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And though we can't communicate with words, our hearts are all in the same place. And that um, there's going to be a day when we are all in the same place and it won't matter and I won't be frustrated and we'll be talking to each other and um, we'll be talking in um, the language of love or in the language of Jesus Christ.